at Modsy, um, on our platform, when you go to run models, you'll get not only the output of a model that you've run with whatever input you happen to give it, you'll also get an explanation of why that model produced the particular output that it did. And so if you provide us an image of a car and you tell us to figure out what it is, we'll tell you it's a car, but we'll also tell you what pixels in the image happen to let our model know that that was an image of a car. If you provide us a series of text and you're asking us to identify what language the text happens to be in, well, you'll get back an understanding of what that text happens to be, whether it's Mandarin or Urdu or Arabic or Spanish, but you'll also get back an understanding of what characters within that text help us to make that decision in terms of, uh, in terms of the overall classification that we made uh, for the text and its language of origin. And you'll get it using up-to-date explainability paradigms that we viewed to be the most uh, commercially ready for prime time so that you can be sure that the explanations that you're getting are the best that could possibly be produced at that point. Right? Now we do this sort of explainability for two reasons. One is that we want all of our users to be able to understand not just the outputs they got, but we want them to be able to understand the, the decision process that went into it so that they can have confidence in the models that we have um, and the outputs that are being generated. And we also want to empower them so that they can understand enough about how the AI model functions to be able to layer that governance and that accountability perspective on top of the model outputs so that they can meet whatever industry guidelines they happen to be abiding by. If you're interested in seeing how our explainability actually works, I invite you to visit our demo pages with our website or to give our sales team a call and they'll be happy to come out and set up a demo for you. Thanks.